This is the Atomstack A24 Pro, an all new 24 watt diode laser engraver. And today we'll take a deep dive into its capabilities and see how it compares with other diode lasers. I have run some tests on this machine over the past month and I have included what I found about this machine in this video. Welcome to Mellopine Lasers, let's get started. Right out of the box, the A24 Pro comes half pre-assembled with the main frame in place. All you have to do is slide in the laser head, connect some wires and it's ready to go. Atomstack has a video on their YouTube channel explaining how to assemble and set it up with the software. Coming to the chassis, it's an all aluminum alloy body. The A24 Pro is quite sturdy and it's heavier than the other diode lasers I have. The main frame comes in one piece, there are no joints and the frame has a powder coated finish. Atomstack A24 Pro is the only diode laser I found to have such a frame design. However, this design choice comes with a trade-off. The machine doesn't offer a conventional work area expansion feature. But I did come across an automatic conveyor feeder for A24 Pro on their product page. The red gantry and laser module remind me of the Xtool D1 Pro. However, when you compare the cost, the entire A24 Pro machine retails for about the same price as just the 20 watt laser module from Xtool. That's around $600. So in terms of value, the A24 Pro really gives you more for your money. The total work area you get on the A24 Pro is 365 by 305 mm. This is less than what you get on 24 watt machines like Acer L2 and IKEA K1 Pro or other 20 watt machines from Comgrow, Xtool and Archer. But the A24 Pro comes under a lower price bracket. On the right side of the frame, you'll find the ports for connecting the rotary, offline controller, USB. Now let's talk about the most important part, the laser module. The A24 Pro comes with a 24 watt laser that uses 450 nanometer blue laser diode. It uses four 6 watt diodes to provide a combined output of 24 watt. The air assist tube port and the laser module connector are located on the back side of the laser module. This means the cables won't get in the way of your job. The cable management is good on this laser. There is even a drag chain on the right side along the Y axis which is great at this price point. Coming to the focusing part, this is a fixed focus laser and the machine doesn't have any autofocus mechanism. You have these thumb screws on the side that you loosen and move the laser up or down till it rests on the focusing block they provide in the kit. Atomstack has also improved the beam coupling with better lenses that allow the laser beam to stay focused for a longer distance, which translates to better cutting depth. I did a cut test and the laser had no trouble cutting through 12mm pine at 90mm per minute in one pass and 8mm black acrylic at 100mm per minute in two passes. The edge looked burnt but with increased speed and more passes you can get cleaner cuts. Coming to the spot size, the Atomstack A24 has a square spot of 0.06 by 0.06 mm compared to the x 20 w which has a spot size of 0.08 by 0.1 mm, the A24 has a really tight spot size. What this means is that you could get better detailing on your engraving. With this spot size, you could get a resolution of 423 dpi. Your regular printer prints at 300 dpi and I use a dpi of 254 on my laser engraving to get a good balance between resolution and project time. Now let's look at some of the tests I ran. I use Lightburn for running almost all my lasers and if you want to master Lightburn, let me tell you about our Lightburn Masterclass course. Now I know what you're thinking, is this just another course? Well it's not. What makes this course different is the live weekly session and the one-on-one -on -one support we offer in the course. What more, we also offer a money back guarantee 
so you can get your money back if you don't like the course. No questions asked. I'll leave the link in the description. Do check it out. Now let's get back to the A24 Pro. Looking at the safety features, the Atomstack A24 Pro, like any standard diode laser, comes equipped with a gyroscope that enables the controller to detect tilts and turn off the laser beam. Distinguishing itself from most competitors, the A24 Pro incorporates limit switches on all four sides. Most diode lasers have limit switches only on one of the corners. Whenever any limit switch gets triggered, the machine will alert you with a sound. The limit switches prevent the gantry from crashing into the frame. Other safety features include a physical key and a physical on-off switch on the front. You can turn the key to the lock position and remove the key to make it inoperable, which is a good thing if you are using this in your home and have kids around. There is no e-stop, instead you get this on-off switch in its place. Also, I couldn't find a flame sensor on the module. The laser module also has a shield that attaches to the module using magnets and filters out most of the laser beams, but you should still wear laser safety goggles around lasers. Now, let's look at a new feature that Atomstack has introduced on their lasers, the red crosshair. This is something I like about X2 lasers and now Atomstack has included it with the A24. I really appreciate them doing this. It makes framing and positioning your workpiece really easy. Next, let's look at the linear motion components. Both axes use belt drives with NEMA 17 steppers with a timing shaft for the Y-axis that synchronizes both ends of the Y-axis to prevent racking. The X-axis uses steel rollers on steel guides, whereas the Y uses linear bearing on steel rods like we see in CNC routers. Atomstack promises a maximum speed of 600 mm per second or 3600 mm per minute for A24 Pro, which is quite similar to the speed of Xtool D1 Pro. Atomstack A24 Pro is compatible with both Lightburn and Laser Gerbil. Atomstack also has made their in-house mobile app and PC software. I would prefer using Lightburn over Laser Gerbil or the Atomstack software for my jobs. Connecting the laser to the PC is straightforward. I simply connected it to my laptop using the included USB cable, but Atomstack also provides a Wi-Fi antenna for wireless setup. Talking about the accessories, you have the F60 Air Assist set, a honeycomb bed, rotary chuck roller, an offline control unit, and an enclosure with camera. These are not included in the $630 package. Coming to the warranty and support, Atomstack offers a one-year warranty on their machines, and the support is through email. The Atomstack A24 Pro is priced at $630 as of now, and at this price point, I would say this laser gives the best bang for the buck. The only downside this machine has is the smaller work area compared to other lasers with similar power. I believe the A24 Pro could give Xtool a run for their money. Xtool does have XCS which is a better software for beginners. With the A24, you would need Lightburn to make the most of its capabilities. I'm seriously impressed that Atomstack has managed to provide a 24W laser with a good build quality at this price point. The 24 watt power means you can do some decent cutting jobs and the small spot size means you can do some really detailed engraving. If you want to do cutting, make sure you have an air assist. I have a video about converting your shop compressor into an air assist. I'll link it in the description. If you're looking for your first laser or wanting to upgrade from something basic, the Atomstack A24 Pro is a good option to consider. So that's all about the Atomstack A24 Pro. If you found the video helpful, be sure to give it a like and share your thoughts in the comments. Also subscribe and check out our channel to learn some cool stuff about lasers. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.